<clears throat> All right. Good afternoon, I should say, football family. How you doing? This is Coach Big Pete of Deep, DeepDishFootball.com. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm also on Snapchat. Um, I'm, I'm everywhere now. I'm also on everywhere else. Um, my email is CoachBigPeteFP at gmail.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, recruits, make sure I have your information. Your information gets shared with college coaches for free, absolutely free. Uh, make sure you fill out the Deep Dish Football recruiting questionnaire on deepdishfootball.com. Now, this is running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends for the class of 2022. Now, this has been a COVID season. It's been horrible. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, there's going to be about 125 names added after this spring season. Um, and it sucks for you guys because COVID has hurt a lot of scouting. But this is going to be huge this spring football season. And I'm excited to get out to some games and see you guys play, watch your game film. It should be a lot of fun. Um, again, these names are not in order. These are just off the watch list on deepdishfootball.com. Just go to the tab on deepdishfootball.com. You'll see watch list and click on that and you'll see the whole watch list. And again, I have I already did an athlete's watch list. If you don't hear your name, make sure you check the athlete's watch list. Because I guarantee you, some people are going to complain, like, why isn't he? He's a star. He's on the athletes list for the watch list. So just check it out. All right. <clears throat> so let's get started, shall we? Now, for the running backs, class of 2022, Josh Dornick, Batavia. He is going to be a little bit of a late riser, but he is going to kill it. He's another big-time Batavia Bulldog to keep an eye out for. Kendrick Washington, Shepard, another big-time running back out of Shepard. Um, I'm sorry, big-time running back out of the South Suburbs. Kendrick Washington, great overall athleticism, can do it all. Um, definitely get to watch out for it. Denim Cook, St. Teresa, St. Teresa, St. Teresa Decatur always has that one special athlete every year, and Denim Cook is that one. Maurice Edwards, uh, transfer from Grace Lake North to Warren Township. Warren Township is absolutely stacked with talent. Maurice Edwards. Um, and again, these four names that I just gave you, I'm talking Division I uh, potential. You got two uh, running backs right here that have, that could be an FBS steal. Chance Joseph, Crete Moni, fast, very fast. Transfer from Lincoln Way East to Crete Moni. He's definitely a kid to keep an eye out for as well. Uh, Kyle Clayton, a transfer from Brother Rice to Phillips. Kyle Clayton out of Phillips. Remember that name. Kyle Clayton out of Phillips. Athletic, great hands. Gabe Hilliard from Carbondale. Unbelievably talented. Should be talked about more, but since he's out of that Southern Illinois region, we don't talk about him. He deserves a lot more respect that he's getting. He is definitely going to be an FCS steal. Gabe Hilliard from Carbondale. Jordan Anderson, Julia Catholic. This just in. Julia Catholic is a farm system for running backs. Jordan Anderson, he's a hell of a running back. And, um, again, all the praise he deserves. He's a hell of a player, gets the job done, and basically will run, will run your ass over like nobody's business. Jahari Scott, Lake Forest High School. Jahari Scott, to me, a shifty runner um, and he is going to have a huge spring season. College coaches are going to have his their sights set on him. Trevor Burnett, Glenn Bard South could be a top. He's a, I consider him a top four running back in the state of Illinois. Um, he is special. Just got an offer from Army. He's got numerous offers, but Trevor Brunette from Glenn Bard South. He's also on an athletics. I can do anything for Glenn Bard South. That is Glenn Bard South's big time weapon. And Trevor Brunette, and just a great character kid as well. All right, let's go down for more of the running backs. All right, so we get to the running backs, more running backs. Um, Aaron Vaughn Jr., Providence Catholic. He's going to be a steal. He's going to be FCS steal. People pay attention to Aaron Vaughn Jr. from Providence Catholic. Pay attention to Aaron Vaughn Jr. of Providence Catholic. He hit a home run his freshman year. He hasn't been talked about since. Keep an eye out for Aaron Vaughn Jr. Whatever program gets him is getting a hell of a playmaker in Aaron Vaughn Jr. <clears throat> and the last running back on my list, 
Marco uh, Maldano, Maldano, Donald, Donald of Loyola Academy running back. Again, nice little shifty runner, finds the hole, attacks the hole, bursts right through the hole. Um, he's definitely going to be a name to watch. See more of him in the spread system as well. He's going to be a hell of a spread running back. No doubt about that. Now let's get into the tight ends of 2022 in the state of Illinois. And again, more names will be added. Make sure I have your information recruits on the for the watch list. Fill out the deep dish football recruiting questionnaire. All right, so let's get to tight ends, shall we? Um, Finn Cohen from Nutrier. This kid's going to be a star. Um, they've talked about him a little bit. He's emerging this, this winter. Spring college coaches' sites are going to be on him. Jack DeSano, Glenbrook South. Another kid, do not sleep on. He's going to be huge this summer. Tyler uh, Domenal from Normal Community High School. Another big stature player. Great hands. Kurt Hertigan from Glens, Glen, Glaze, Grace Lake Central. Can also play on the defensive side of the ball. But Kurt Hedingen, I love him at tight end. I love his aggressiveness. Um, and I love his blocking. Underrated blocking. Max Zebreth from Normal West. Another tight end to keep an eye out for as well. Again, Normal's looking cool for, for the size. Uh, but Max Zebreth from Normal West. Tyler Denawali was from Normal. This is Normal West. Max Zebreth, he's already got an offer, if I'm not mistaken. He's another kid to watch out. Brady Tostard uh, from Elk Grove. Impressive summer. I saw him go at the Top Gun 7-on-7. Seven seven. Very impressed with him. Overall athleticism, great, great hands. I can also play on the defensive side of the ball, too. Eric Remus, <clears throat> Vernon Hills. Um, Eric Remus and Vernon Hills. Um, saw him in the summer at the Boom Football Showcase. Was taken away, very impressed with that. Um, like his hands, like his athleticism. Again, needs more playing time. We'll see what happens. Um, Tyler Fawcett, Weedon Warrenville South, basketball star, football player as well. And what do I say? What is the one thing that I love that my tight ends do when they play football? They also play basketball. And Tyler Fawcett's one of them. Definitely get to keep an eye for him. Aaron Carl, Galesburg. Do not sleep on this kid. Uh, he's been talked about in the past, but still needs more recognition. Shout out to Aaron Carl of Galesburg. James Kyle, Lyle Academy, he's looking as one of the top tight ends in the state of Illinois. He's got some big offers. He's going to continuously get more big offers. Um, I consider him I consider him better than Jake Morardi of uh, Loyola uh, uh, four or five years ago. I think he can play better than him. I think James Kyle is a better tight end. He grades out better than Jake Morardi. I think James Kyle is going to be a hell of a player in college. Henry Boyer. Uh, transfer from uh, uh, Walter Payton, Walter Payton Prep to Brother Rice. Henry Boyer, again, athlete, great hands, played defense and offense on the side of the ball, but I think he's going to play mostly on offense for Brother Rice. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he plays against some of the uh, better upper echelon defenses uh, on that Brother Rice schedule. Next one. This kid is going to be – this kid's something special. I just – I love this kid. I love the way he plays. I love his athleticism. I love his hands. Um, I love the way how he approaches, the way he works out. Um, I was impressed with him at the Boom Showcase. Um, I'm impressed with his game film. Keep an eye out for Evan King out of Tinley Park. I have him as a tight end. I think he can be one of the best tight ends in the state of Illinois. Keep an eye out for him. Evan King. Tinley Park, the kid is a gamer. No doubt about it. All right. So let's get in the last part, wide receivers. Now, I'm going to say this right now. Um, for wide receivers, this is the smallest. This has been, this is one of the smallest lists that I've ever done for a watch list. And again, I think what hurts is um, not games the games that weren't scouted. They haven't played their junior junior season yet. I think that's going to change again after the spring season. And again, if you don't see your name, make sure you check the athlete section of the watch list. Your name might be there. <coughs> All right. My first player, and again, in no order. Quintrell Harris from uh he transferred from Lions Township to Nazareth. Trell Harris, he is going to have a huge season with Nazareth Academy. 
He is a great compliment to Tyler Morris, and I'm forgetting the other guy's name, but Quintrell Harris is special. He he's gonna he's gonna get some bigger looks uh, getting into the spring. Eli Reed, Downers Grove South, graded out as a defensive back, wide receiver. Can he he can play anything? He's, the kid's fast, uh, but again, great vision, underrated um, underrated hands to Eli Reed. Trey Beebe, Aurora Christian, uh, again, good hands. Um, would like to see more of his um, his growth, especially when we get into that spring season and at the end of the spring. That's going to be beautiful uh, for him, no doubt about that. Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the Marcus Fonchez, Carbondale, great size. Um, great overall speed, great catching ability. Um, again, more college coaches would like to see more game film on him. Tyler Morris, it's Tyler Morris. Um, probably one of the best, probably one of the top, top 10 recruits in the state of Illinois out of Nazareth Academy. Um, whoever gets him is getting someone special. Um, it, it'd be awesome if he went to Michigan. Him and JJ would make a great, uh, one of the top duo in the Big Ten. Um, Jalil Martin, Ken, uh, Kenwood, uh, what more can you say about Jalil Martin? Another top, not the top wide receiver in the state of Illinois that you must talk about you know, even more. Um, he's going to get more big time offers. Next, Christopher Stinson, uh, 6'4", 6'5", if I'm not mistaken. Also a basketball player out of Aurora West High School. Love the kid's athleticism. Love that he fights for the ball. Definitely kid to watch. Jake Piper. Vernon Hills, yes, he is small, uh, but he is deadly, and he will leave you in a cloud of dust, and he will take it to the end zone. Jake Piper is a kid to watch. Underrated player I'm going to talk about now is Jaden Miller, Niles West High School. You have to keep an eye out for Jaden Miller. Um, I think a lot of college coaches are going to be looking at him getting into the summer season and hopefully, again, if we get to camp season, he will be talked about a lot during that camp season. But Jaden Miller out of Niles West is a player to watch. All right, uh, let's go down, down, down. All right, let's talk about Fenwick. Fenwick's got the best duo ever, <laughs> I consider. Ian Pugh, Fenwick, Max Reese, Fenwick. Um, both those guys, they're just talented. I, I've seen them work out in the summer. And like I said, um, there's just there's something special about both these young men, um, and I really can't put my finger on it, but I really see a bright future for both, especially in the college ranks. Um, very underrated. They made a lot of plays for Caden Cobb, um, and I really, really like them both. Both are Power 5 players, no doubt about it. And I think they have uh, offers from both from Power 5 teams, too. Um, Zeke Williams, Naperville North, underrated athlete. It needs to be talked about more. Jacob Bostic, uh, again, the top, three, uh, top, top five wide receiver. Um, he's going to get more offers. He's already got a bunch of offers. Uh, very impressive. Good young man. Uh, definitely kid to keep an eye out for. Um, and he's going to just only get better. Uh, Dre Epis... <laughs> I apologize for murdering last names. Uh, Egipso of Galesburg, um, great overall athleticism, uh, another multi-sport fo football player, um, good hands, um, and I love his blocking ability, very underrated. Next, Torino Tate out of DeKalb. Uh, Torino Tate, to me, um, he's going to be a late, a late riser. He's ready to burst on the scene. He needs to be talked about more. But he's the next big bar player to keep an eye out for from DeKalb. Luther Burden, transfer from um, Luther North in Missouri to East St. Louis. He's probably, he, he is, um, I said Tyler Morse. Tyler Morse is the second best wide receiver. Luther Burden's number one. Um, committed to Oklahoma for football. Um, East St. Louis is just stacked. And Luther Burden, he he'll, he can kill anything. And his he breaks coverages. He can extend for 45 yards, make a play, get a touchdown. He just does it all. Um, he's just one of those special players that we uh, don't really don't talk about, but we should be talking about. 
I think he's better than Jeff Thomas. I'm going to piss off a lot of people for saying that, but I think he's better than Jeff Thomas uh, from a couple years back. He's AC at Lewis. I think Luther Burton is that special of a player. Next, Dane Partridge, Mar Marmion Academy. Um, does it all. Jack of all trades. Um, and I believe we're going to look at him more. Um, I see him, and people are going to be surprised when I say this, I see him as a Mac player. I really do. I think he's very underrated. Next one, another top wide receiver, Reggie Fulmera of Naperville Central. He's gotten some big offers. He's going to continue to get some more big offers. Kid fights for the ball. I've seen him at throw it deep. He's just been overall impressive, Reggie Fulmera of Naperville Central. And last one, Jack Trimbley, Lincoln Way East. Again, coach is looking for more game film on him. This season's going to, spring season is going to be huge for him um, at Lincoln Way East, but he's definitely a special player in Jack Trembley. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Recruits, make sure I have your information. Fill out the Deep Dish Football recruiting questionnaire. And that is it. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day.